We turn to the other breaking story tonight and take a look at the big screen right behind me here. That little circle right there, that is the eye of that monster storm, Tropical Storm Izel, as seen from space tonight. A direct hit on Hawaii. And just look at the path this evening. Hurricane Julio coming up fast as well. This was a one-two punch they were getting ready for. And this image tonight, Izel coming ashore, cameras rolling, capturing the moment of impact. Tonight, vacationing families and the people who live there hunkered down and from the storm zone, the trees ripped from the ground, down power lines, chaos at the airports, and a gas station closed. The pumps wrapped in plastic. This evening, a new worry. Will all of this water now trigger landslides? Ginger Z is right here, but first, ABC's Clayton Sandell on the Big Island for us tonight. The first of a double weather punch landed squarely on the Big Island of Hawaii. Tonight, the island is battered and bruised, but still standing. Utility crews are out working to clear trees. The storm smashed this building to the ground. Hello? Anybody here? And completely blocked island highways. Access in and out of small towns cut off. Hundreds left their homes for shelters overnight. Power outages put nearly 25,000 in the dark. It was scary. It was scary. Uh, you don't really experience winds like that here in Hawaii. Riding out the storm overnight, we watch those wind speeds jump up. It's now 9 o'clock and we're seeing winds over 30 miles an hour. It's now midnight and we're seeing gusts here up to 50 miles an hour. But the big story on the big island, all that big water. Some areas soaked with a foot of rain. This is Rainbow Falls yesterday. And here's what it looks like now. So much water, streets were flooded. And as the storm moves east, world-famous Waikiki Beach is empty. But amid the damage, some beauty. This rainbow on the island of Maui. And David, this will give you an idea of the danger and the power of all that water. This is the Wailuku River here in Hilo. The level has risen 13 feet in just the last 12 hours. And tonight there are flash flood watches across the Hawaiian Islands. David. Wow, just the roaring sound there behind you. Clayton, thank you. Ginger, tracking this every step of the way this week. And you were telling me today that the volcanoes might have actually helped here. Absolutely. Tropical systems do not like friction, meaning land at all, let alone friction at some 14,000 feet. So look at the radar right now. Almost every island getting some sort of rain, but this thing has fallen apart big time. I'll take you right back to when it was making land fall, but to me it looked like land stop because it stopped right there at those volcanoes and then fell apart. You see it on the satellite? It almost looks like you just blow it away. It completely disintegrates. And now we still do have 50 some mile per hour winds, but it stays south of most of the islands. That's the good news with Isel or what's left of it. Julio still very strong, but that path stays north. I don't think the islands will see a whole lot of impact from either any longer. All right, well, we like that path. In the meantime, the other concern you're tracking this weekend. That is correct. We have rain and flash flooding possible, especially in parts of the southeast. Let's look at that heavy rainfall, especially South Carolina, North Carolina, even parts of Virginia going through the next two to three days locally over four inches, David. All right, Ginger Z, you've been with us every step of the way, and we thank you.